Hey everybody, how's it going? How are ya? Time for another beer review. It's time for Jake to review a bourbon stout. Because I've never done, I've never tried a bourbon stout before, an actual bourbon stout. Then this is Innocent Gun, so this has come from Scotland. So, not sure if this is going to be true to the real bourbon stout that you would get down into, you know, down in the South Central USA, whatever. Innocent Gun Bourbon Stout oat, Oak Aged Beer. This Innocent Gun Red Stout has been brewed using rye crystal malt to give it its deep ruby color. White wit, wit bread Goldings Hop complemented the sweet biscuity malt with a soft bitterness. It was matured slowly over bourbon infused oak which gives it its mellow vanilla flavor. Oh, here we go with the vanilla again in these Innocent Gun beers. And a nice warming bourbon kick. 7.4% alcohol by volume, by volume. And it's a 330, 330 ml bottles. It says carefully matured for 54 days prior to release. Yeah, baby. Let's pop it. Let's pop it with this Innocent Gun, this giant, in this, look at the size of this thing. This giant Innocent Gun beer capper. It's, it's as big as the bottle. It's almost as big as the bottle. Let's break into it. Let's see what we got. From, from the Masters. From the Masters. Well, I don't know about the Masters, but let's try this bourbon stout. This will be my first one. I'd really like to try a... Uh, Goose Island bourbon stout one of these days, one of these years. Let's pour this one up and see what we got in here. We won't even pour it all away. It's only a small bottle. It's only a small treat. It's only a small treat. Oh, look at that. It looks a pretty. It's a pretty dark a beer. Pretty dark, man. Man. And I didn't get much of a head on it, just a little cap. Slightly off tan head. Nice dark, it's quite a dark beer. Can't really see through it. You can't really see, yeah, it's almost opaque, but not quite. You can see through it just a little bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit, let's have a sniff. <laughs> oh, that's a nice aroma. That's a nice aroma. I'm picking up dark fruits like dates and raisin sweetness malt and it's nice and it's nice not much on the way of hops i can't really smell that mm, i'm looking for the oak maybe just a hint Maybe just a hint of oak in the aroma. Not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. And I lost my cap pretty well. So, I go give it a give it a swirl. It's got a nice aroma. It's almost like a little bit of smoke in there too, but maybe just minor. Maybe just a minor smoke. I don't know. Oh yeah. All right. Let's give this one a taste. Here we go. Oh, by the way, cheers. And uh, eat good nuts. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. That one's sweet. Sweet. Vanilla y. Like vanilla ice cream almost. <laughs> Oh, that is nice. Wow. I got no way to cover the rest of the bottle up, so I can't warm it up. Put another cap on it. It's only a tiny bottle. They should have gave me four, bur four bourbon stouts in this one. Hmm. Oh. Oh, that is quite nice. Of course, it's got that, you know, it's got that usual sort of a vanilla flavor. It's 
It's got that usual vanilla that you, you get in a lot of innocent gun beers. But it's uh it's also got a lot of other things going on too, you know. It's got it's got it's got the oak, a little bit of oak in the flavor. It's got it's got like at age, it gives you a sense of age in the flavor too. Like, like you know, you can taste that this thing's been sitting. It's been sitting a while. You know, you can you can easily pick that up. You know, if I was blindfolded, I'd say yes. This beer's been aged, damn right. It does have those. It does have those uh, little bit of those fruity, fruity flavors. You know, like the dates and the raisins. There's a little bit of that in there, and uh, it's rel yeah, It's fairly smooth. It's fairly smooth, but it's not real smooth. I suppose if it were possible, if I could age it a year, but I don't know if you could. Being that it's in a clear bottle, you'd really have to keep it in the dark to age it. So, I mean, but if this was aged another year, it would be really nice and very, very smooth. Very smooth. I definitely do like it. I definitely do like it. It's got the, it's got, it's got a bit of, it's got a pretty good sweetness on it. But uh, other than that, it's my first bourbon stout. So what do you expect? I don't know what to say. I'm not experienced with these bourbon spout, bourbon stouts, bourbon spouts. <laughs> but yeah, I like it. It's good. It's really good. So, uh, as far as the rating is concerned, from Jake's Jake's opinion, I think I could go four out of five on this one. Yeah, a stable four to five. Uh, I don't really know exactly what a bourbon stout is. It, you know what a true bourbon stout is supposed to taste like, but I'm just saying this this is de very decent. It's a very good one. Very good in general. It's just a very good beer. It's good. It's good. Cheers, everybody. Seventeen. Keep your mugs full. See you soon.